Yo yo, it's Lil Yurk and today I'm bringing you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can get a working phone booth and ID scanning agency doors in Fortnite Creative. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to have the agency phone booth and a working ID scanning door in your own creative map. If you guys enjoy this at any point, don't forget to drop a like, hit subscribe, do whatever you want to do and all that stuff. If you want to support me, you can use code YurkYT in the item shop and it really helps me out a lot. But anyways, let's get into this tutorial. So, we're gonna start with the phone booth. First, we're gonna open up the creative menu and we're gonna click the shape filter on the side. Then, open up the cube gallery and we want to grab the orangish reddish cube and place it down. We're gonna start by resizing it, shrinking the height axis as much as possible and then we just wanna set it on the ground. Then. Open up the creative menu again and go back and now we're going to open up the visualizer gallery extra large. From this gallery, we want to grab this tall red visualizer piece and we want to place it down. Now we're going to copy our original cube and we're going to resize it by shrinking it all the way. Once it's all the way shrunk, we're going to change the axis to height and then we want to increase it until it's a little taller than our player model. Then we want to place it down so it sits in the corner of the cube on the floor and we're going to repeat this for all four sides. Okay, now we need to copy the floor cube and we want to put it on the top just like I'm doing. Then we need to open up our creative menu, then we're going to need to open the square pyramid gallery. All we need from here is the matching pyramid piece and once you have that you're just going to want to take it and place it on the top of our phone booth. Next, grab the visualizer piece we grabbed earlier and we want to make it as small as possible. Then make it tall enough using the height axis to fit between the top and the bottom of our phone booth. Place two of these on each side evenly spaced out like you can see me doing in the video. Once you have them all placed, we're going to shrink the height and rotate it so it's laying parallel to the ground. Then we're going to take them and we're going to place them down horizontally like I'm doing and this is just going to give it that phone booth look. Now we just need to open the creative menu and type door in the search bar. You can use whatever door you want, but I'm using the open frame one here. We're going to take that door and we're just going to set it on the open side of our phone booth. Open up the creative menu and grab a billboard device. Place it down and then we're going to put a phone emoji on it. If you're on PC, just open Google and type in phone emoji, click the first link and press copy. And if you're on console, just open up your keyboard in the billboard and look for a phone emoji and see if it'll let you do it as well. So then what we do is we just open up the billboard settings and we're going to hit control V, go down and change the font to Burbank. We also want to turn borders off and set the background to clear, but then we just click OK. And as you can see, the emoji now shows up on our billboard. Then just place it at the top of the phone booth and we're ready to get started with the ID scanning door. Open up the creative menu and click the military filter tab on the side. Then open up the military walls gallery and grab any of the doors that have the automatic door and place it down. Now for our devices. Open up the creative menu and we need to grab a lock device, a perception trigger, a regular trigger, an attribute trigger, a button, a class selector, and the french fries. First start by placing the class selector and opening up the settings. We want to set the class identifier to class identifier 1 and then we're going to go down and we're going to turn restore health and shields on switch to no. Keep scrolling down we want to turn volume visibility in game off, visibility in game off, and then set when class switch to transmit on channel to channel 1. Then we're just going to click ok and we're going to set this class selector on the ground right in front of the door of our phone booth. Then we want to grab the color changing orb from the french fries thing and open up the settings. Set the color to silver and then set the duration to however long you want, it doesn't really matter. Then we're going to set the time to respawn to instant and we're going to set pick up when receiving from to channel 1. Click ok and set this off to the side somewhere. Next we're going to grab our button. We're going to take the button and we're going to put it next to our door. Open up the settings and we're going to change the interaction text to scan yourself or scan ID or whatever you want to put there. Then set when interacted with transmit onto channel 2 and click OK. Okay now we're going to take the perception trigger and put it on the door. 
I put it above the door when I recorded this, but in the game it's actually on the side, so that might look better if you do it there. Open up the settings and we want to set enabled on game start to disabled. Then we're going to set it to enable when receiving from channel 2 and disable when receiving from channel 3. Lastly, set when device sees a player transmit on channel to channel 2 and click OK. Okay, and now for the attribute trigger. We want to open the settings and set the check for class to class 1. Then we're going to set the delay to 2 seconds. Scroll down and set listen to channel to channel 2. Set if all checks are valid transmit on channel to channel 4. And if a check is invalid transmit on channel 3. Now we're going to click OK and now it's time to open up the settings for our regular trigger device. Set the delay to 5 seconds, trigger when receiving from channel to channel 4, and when triggered transmit on channel 3. Finally, the lock device. Set the lock device on the door and open up the settings. Set visible in game to off and then scroll all the way down and set open when receiving from channel to channel 4 and close when receiving from channel to channel 3. Then we just click OK and now all we have to do is test it out by starting the game. Walk up to the door and try and open it and it won't open, but if you go and stand in the phone booth for 3 seconds and try again, the perception trigger will think you're a henchman and allow you access to the door. And there you guys have it, how to make a working phone booth and ID door scanner from the agency in Fortnite Creative. Thank you all so much for the support you guys have been showing recently and if you want, feel free to check out some of my other videos that are on screen now. Thank you all so much for watching and as always, stay up.